Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be doing a fall outfit look and then Hannah will be doing a makeup tutorial on Lexi for the fall season. Keep on watching. Welcome back to my beauty channel, bitches! Yeah, welcome back, okay. Okay, so we already uh, put some moisturizer on her face. We're gonna put some more moisturizer on. We're gonna use the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Lip Name Moisturizer. Awesome. I'm just gonna spread that evenly all over the face. Okay, we're gonna use my fingers and rub that. <laughs> Look at me, more bitch. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, some more. <laughs> Does this feel nice? Sure. <laughs> okay, so now that we have the face all prepped, we can put a primer on. I have a sample of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I have a sample! No, <laughs> Feels greasy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just picked your nose. Chee Chee's up. Yay. <laughs> I just like choked on her. So to prep her lips, I'm gonna put this juice infused lip oil on her. Wow, this is f***ing juicy. <laughs> my lip gloss is popping. Insert music. My lip gloss is cool. My lip gloss be popping. And then I have a sample of the Born This Way foundation. Okay, dot that all over your faces, bitches. Blend that in. <laughs> so on Tuesday, my family and I were sitting down for a nice meal of pizza and chicken wings. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not gonna eat this. So I wasn't gonna eat. And um, my mom goes to take a bite, bite out of her pizza. And there's a... <laughs> so then that happened and it was white all around us and I could see this ball of fire in the middle of the coffee table. And all the power goes off. And we're like, Icky, what's happening? <laughs> and so my dad goes out in the basement to check the electric box and all the... Oh, if you could tell, our house got struck by lightning. <laughs> and all the switches were flipped. So I switch all them back on and we keep a fan going in the basement so that it doesn't stay humid in there. And it started turning red and it was starting to melt. <laughs> so I didn't unplug that. And in like the back porch we have a light on the ceiling and it started smoking. So we had to call the fire department and they came, whatever, and they had their thermal imaging camera and they're looking for like any hot spots. We're like, yeah, it's, not, it's 73 degrees, pretty constant around here. My dad goes, the thermostat says 71.5. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go in with the Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer now and go under her eyes and whatever pimples need to be covered. Awesome. And so we had a wasp nest in our back porch, and that was completely black and charred. Okay, sister. And so our house ended up not setting a flame, and the fire department left. My dad went on to the garage, and the electrical box in there is blown apart, and lights were blown out of the sockets. Blend that in. Now we have no cable, the TV won't turn on, there's no internet, so it was a great time. I thought I was going to die. So then today, I went out in the backyard, and we have this super tall tree. It's completely black on one side, and there's bark laying all over the backyard, and twigs and leaves everywhere. It ended up going through the tree, and since it's so big, the roots go really far, which goes under the garage, and we have... um electrical cables running from the garage to the house. So they went through the roots, through the cables from the garage, and into the house and blew everything up. I love your life. Okay, I'm gonna set her face with the Cody Airspun Powder. 
gonna take a beauty blender and we're gonna bake under the eyes. All right, ladies. And then today my dad sent me a text message of the um, of the newspaper and we're in it. It's titled, Lightning Strikes City Residents. And then to just make sure she keeps her foundation on and oily spots, I'm gonna set all of that as well with the baking powder. Like the nose. The moustache here you. Oh yeah, and then I'm gonna take that powder as well and just set the rest of her face with it too. Alright. And then we're gonna let that powder sit. And I'm gonna go in with the butter bronzer now. In the shade Deep Bronzer. Smell it for me. I'm gonna start right here by the ear and go. Okay. Go in circular motions and then go in. That's right, ladies. Intense. Okay, and then we're bringing it up to the temple, still going in circular motions. And then go like this, get under that chin. Do the same thing. Do like patting motions into the hairline. Okay, bitches. You don't want everybody to know that you're paler than you actually f***ing look. Awesome! I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Amazonian blush in the shade Party! Take me birthday! Okay, start with the bronzer and pat it in. And stop at the apples of the cheeks. That's done. So we had a difficult, um, we had technical difficulty. <laughs> yeah. And the light went off. So now I'm going to prep our eyelids. I'm going to use the concealer we used before again. And we're just going to do a little... Okay, that's easy. Blend that out with the beauty blender again. set that, I'm going to use a Koki 627 brush. And then we're going to use this baby. Super pretty bitches. We're going to use this shade, Vanilla on Vanilla. That's my kind of shit, bitch. And then I'm going to put that all over the lid. Now we're going to use the same brush. We're going to start off with... Tequila tangerine. Um, okay, yeah. tap that up. We're gonna start in the crease and do circular motions. And then do a little... Now that we're done with that shade, we're gonna go in with this one right here called RSVP, same brush. And we're gonna go a little lower in the crease. It's around the outer edge. Kind of build that into the last one we just used. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. Deepen it up a bit. Mimosa. And then we'll do the same thing thing to deepen it up a little bit. Lightly drag that in more. I'm gonna take this bronzer that I got from Sephora and it's in the shade 44 Neutral Almond. I'm just gonna use my finger and I'm gonna pack that all over the lid. That's pretty. Now we're gonna dust up the beak. We like a matte bitch. So then we're gonna take, I just gleaked, I think. 
That's I the f***ing Shane name? <laughs> I just blinked, I just blinked I think. I think. <laughs> this is funny. Okay. I'm gonna take the tangerine tequila on this smudge brush from e.l.f. But we're gonna take that shade and we're gonna smudge that under the lower lash line. Then we're gonna go in with this brush again and I'm just gonna blend it up. So then I'm gonna take this e.l.f. eyebrow and eyelash gel mascara and I'm not gonna fill in her brows today because I think they look pretty f***ing nice. Right? These all natural bitches. <laughs> I'm just gonna brush them up and then on the edges you go okay. And that's just gonna make sure they stay in place. I'm gonna take this Mary Luminizer from the Balm. It's a highlighter. And then I'm gonna take the Morphe M510. I'm gonna use this highlighter and we're gonna do a little bit of this type of action. Ooh. Uh, okay, and then we're gonna do a little down the nose. And then, I'm also gonna take that smudge brush again, and I'm gonna go in with the highlight, and I'm gonna hit this little bump in the brow here with that highlight. Okay, and then I'm also gonna use Martini Mama. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm gonna go in with Martini Mama, I think. Okay, and then I'm using that shade to hit that little curve in the eyebrow as well. Don't drag it all the way down because it'll look like you're f***ed up. Okay, thanks. Oh, and then I'm gonna take Martini Mama and pop that in the inner corner. I've never used these, but I'm gonna go in with the Essence I Heart Extreme Crazy Fine Mascara. Okay, and then we're gonna use the Fenty Glow Lip Gloss. You know what? I'm gonna put some more of that juice infused lip oil on top of there. Make it extra juicy. Holy shit, yeah, that steps it up. How'd this feel on your lips in the beginning? What? <laughs> and then, since we're all done, I'm gonna set the face with the MAC Fix Plus primer, not primer, finishing spray. <laughs> so that completes the look. Hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, bitches. So now me and Lexi are going to be doing a fall clothing haul for you guys. So we have like four outfits each and then we're going to explain what clothes we have and then we're going to kind of, we're going to model our outfits. My first article of clothing for this outfit is a plain white t-shirt that you can get anywhere. And I'll be wearing this black denim jacket over it from Charlotte Russe. And then these light Denim jeans, skinny, 78% cotton, 20% polyester, 2% spandex, made in Vietnam, from Kohl's. I think this look is perfect for the fall because denim is always in and jacket helps when it gets a little chilly outside <laughs> and it has rips in it so it makes it edgier. Okay, so for my fall look, I picked out this, um, like, burnt yellow kind of, like, striped sweater, and it's from Goodwill. It was only two bucks, and the brand's Komen. Komen Sport. Oh, sports. 
And then for my bottoms, I have the, um, this pair of Forever 21 jeans. It has a little rip in the knee here, and then up by the like right side of my thigh. The right thigh. And then for the shoes, I have a pair of white Vans. I thought the look would be cute for the fall because the color yellow is really good in the fall time. And when I tuck the shirt into the jeans, it gives it a really cute look. Second look, I have these same pair of jeans and this blouse from TJ Maxx, per se. <laughs> okay, so the light blue denim and like the darker blue on the shirt look good together and it's nice and simple. So for my second look, I have this white tee that I turn into a cutoff from Hollister. Hooray! And then to go over that t-shirt, I have this black button-down. It doesn't really have like a collar, and it's from St. Vincent, which is a thrift store, and I got it for only $3.50, so it's pretty good price. And then for the bottoms with this outfit, I thought that a pair of just plain denim jeans, no rips, would look really cute with it, and they're from Air Apostle. And so, to put this look together, I have a pair of All-Star Converse high tops to go with it. And I thought this look was very simple and sleek, and I just get a good vibe from it. For my next outfit, I have this green striped shirt from Charlotte Russe. Yeah. And these black jeggings. Jeggings? Yeah, they're actually jeggings. Really? They don't even have a zipper. And they don't even have front pockets, but they're there. What? And these are from Kohl's. So I like that outfit because simple. I think the green goes well with my skin tone. And stripes are always the look. Next outfit, uh, I got like another yellow vibe, but it's more of a brighter yellow, so it's not as burnt as the last sweatshirt. So this is just a like a plain yellow tee from American Eagle with the logo on the front. And to put over that, I have this ripped jean jacket that I got from Route 21. There's a lot of holes in it, but you know, it's got to roll with punches. The Pop out! <laughs> that scared me too much. <laughs> The pair of bottoms I had to pair with the look are like a very distressed looking um, pair of black jeans from H&M. They don't even have a zipper, they like button up. Where the f***? Okay. To bring the look all together, I have a pair of yellow Vans. So, that's a very fall look because of the yellows. It seems like, yeah, mustard yellow has been in for the fall season Burnt lately orange. for like the past like three years, so. Outfit, same black jeggings, but with this um, denim type shirt from TJ Maxx. She just looks good. It's very comfortable for being denim. And it looks cute. So for my last look, it's a very simple black and white look. So I have this Old Navy, um, oh f <laughs> I have this Old Navy black um, sweater with a gray and white stripe through it, and I got it from a thrift store for only two bucks. And then to go with that, I have this pair of Air Apostle, um, like darker denim jeans with holes in the knees. And then the shoes I have with these outfit. And then the shoes to go with this outfit are just a plain pair of white Vans. I like this look because it's just a plain black shirt with the stripe. I love just the one stripe that goes to the center of the sweatshirt. And I like the white Vans because it really makes the whole look kind of pop. And it keeps you really warm. It's, it's a heavier sweater than you think.
Yeah, suck on my nipples, bitch. <laughs> Hannah's always farting in the videos. Why are you pussy so damn good, Miss Lady? What? <laughs>